Hey everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. You remember this from last week? This is my finished ginger bug. And today I'm going to be making ginger ale. Stay tuned. Okay, to get started here, i am got a saucepan on the stove here and I'm turning on the heat. I'm adding three cups of filtered water. This is going to be a total of seven cups in total and I need um, I need to heat up three and the balance will uh, help to cool down the uh, cool down the liquid. So I added three cups of uh, dis distilled filtered water into my uh, pot here. I'm also going to need a half a cup of organic cane sugar. And uh, I picked this up at my uh, at my local grocery store uh, that uh, actually has the uh, health food aisle and this is the organic so best that you can get for uh, for this particular for this particular uh, application here and I'm just going to grab a wooden spoon and give it a stir. I'm also going to need a teaspoon of molasses. Now the one I picked is a uh, it's GMO free and it's uh, an, or an organic variety so that uh, I follow along with uh, my organic ingredients. So I need a whole teaspoon of this. So I'm just going to add that. And I want to get everything out. So I'll just scrape it in there with a spoon. What I'm also going to have to add is sea salt. And that calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. So what I'm going to be using is a Himalayan sea salt. So I've got a, that's approximately a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. This particular recipe was uh, uh, goes along with my my uh, homemade ginger bug, and uh, I've been wanting to make ginger ale for quite some time now, uh, ever since I came across it, and uh, now I'm getting my wish. So, so it's coming up to temp, and now what I'm going to add to this is a, a I'm going to grate or finely chop about a two inch piece of organic ginger. Okay, so now I've got my two inch uh, piece uh, all chopped of the uh, ginger. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna simmer this for about five or 10 minutes. Now that it's boiled uh, for uh, approximately six minutes here, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off the heat and finish uh, with the uh, rest of the ingredients. So, uh, as you can see, I've switched out to a larger pot because I'm going to be adding the last of the uh, remaining bits of water, which is uh, four cups. So to this I'm adding my four cups of water. Give it a little bit of a stir. And I'm also adding three tablespoons of le lemon juice, freshly squeezed. Give that a mix. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool to room temperature. Uh, the cold, the, the cool filtered water helped cool it down, but uh, it needs to uh, go uh, to uh, room temperature before I uh, add the ginger bug. Okay, so now that uh, my ginger uh, uh, molasses and ginger and uh, water uh, solution has uh, completely uh, cooled down. I'm going to transfer it to 
this jug because this is where I'll be doing the uh, fermenting in. So I'm just gonna dump it in. Ginger pieces and all, everything goes in. And if I get ginger stuck, I wanna get it out of there and put it in. Remember that ginger bug that I uh, I had made earlier uh, a few days ago? I'm going to uncap it and add with the ginger pieces and all. I'm going to give it actually a good little shake first, just to get everything mixed. And I'm going to add it to my measuring cup. And I'm going to measure out half a cup. There we go. Seal it back up for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and dump it in here as well. bit of a stir. And put on a coffee filter just so I protect it from the top, the metal top. Tighten it down. And push it all the way to the counter top here. Leave it for a couple to three days. And hopefully by then, by, by day three, I'm going to have lots of bubbles. And once I have lots of bubbles, I'm going to burp it and start bottling it. And that's all it is to making uh, ginger ale. So whatever ginger bug uh, I used, I'll replace with uh, filtered water and add more sugar and um, ginger and then uh, shove it in the fridge after a day and it's good to go for the next batch. Okay, as you can see, my countertop is empty uh, except for what I've got here right now. Uh, in the corner, I've got my ginger bug uh, warming up, uh, coming to temperature because I had put it in the... Uh, fridge. Discovered that there was mold uh, on top after, what, three days. Um, I looked and sure enough there's a speck of uh, fuzzy bluish colored uh, circle uh, on uh, uh, in the corner of one of my uh, in, in the corner of my jar that, uh, that I was making uh, my ginger ale in. And this is the jar that, the jug that I had. Instead uh I decided to make something different, uh, take a step back, decided to reassess what went wrong uh, with, the, um, with the ginger ale. And I discovered that the organic ginger that uh, I had was moldy. Um, it, when I first uh, started using it, uh, everything was fine, but then uh, I pulled it out of the fridge again to make uh, 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 actually this little guy and I discovered that it had mold on it. So I think um, it uh, corrupted the uh, batch. So I decided to set it aside. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is because I've been using it for my ginger bug, I've got to restart that, which is fine. And uh, I bought a, a new, uh, new batch of ginger, a new hand of ginger. And uh, here, instead, I've made, I made this... Uh, on the 4th, and today is what, the 6th? No, the 5th. I made this yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> I can't even remember. Uh, it clearly states the 4th, so obviously it was the 4th. And uh, this is called tapache. It's a Mexican fermented drink made from fresh pineapple, uh, ginger, which, of course, I didn't use the uh, other ginger. 
and uh, cinnamon and brown sugar. And here you can see I've got uh, a, one of my garden chili, uh, cayenne chilies uh, in there. It's a, it's a bit of a spicy drink. Uh, it's fermented and this will ferment in the jar for about three days or so. And then what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll bottle it to continue the uh, fermenting process. So uh, hopefully this one's going to work out. So far uh, I've looked at it to, to double check to make sure everything is good. Um, it's, it smells fine. Uh, it doesn't have a, a moldy scent or anything like that. And uh, it's starting to bubble. I can see some bubbles starting to form and which is good that's something you want to see so uh yeah this is my my next fermenting uh my uh fermented uh project fermenting project and hopefully it's going to work out uh but uh it's like i said uh never ever stop trying i mean you're going to have successes and you're going to have failures and this unfortunately was one of the failures but uh, in uh, all my endeavors of fermenting um, has has been great like this is my cabbage uh, my sauerkraut that's just the plain you can see all the lovely bubbles uh, the carbon bubbles forming and uh, this one's going to be really good I'm really excited about it but but what I'm really excited about is trying this so so like I say keep trying don't give up if you have one fail build on that and learn from it and uh, just keep trying. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.